Good morning. Today we will look at the kidneys. Look at the basically your urinary system and most of the function functions of this system takes place in the kidneys. Okay, so let's discuss the four main things that we're interested in today. We're gonna look at four processes that the kidneys do. So let's first draw for you the nephron. So the nephrons of the kidneys do the work. The, other, the four things that we'll, we'll discuss today will occur in the nephrons. All right, so nephrons structurally, you know, have an, a glomerulus where blood comes in and blood leaves. So blood enters the glomerulus through the afferent arteriole and leaves the glomerulus, leaves it, through the efferent arteriole. And then you have things of the kidneys, structures called your Bowman's capsule. Bowman's capsule there, which then flows into what's called a proximal convoluted tubule, which then flows into a loop of Henle, into another distal convoluted tubule, which then flows into a collecting duct. All right, so here we have, just label these things out. This, this part here is called your glomerulus. This, this capsule around it is called the Bowman's capsule, or also called your glomerular capsule. This right here is called your PC, PCT, proximal convoluted tubule. This loop here is called the loop of Henle or the nephron loop. This over here is called the distal convoluted tubule. And then here is a common duct. This is called your collecting duct. Collecting duct, which collects filtrate from several different, you know, different nephrons. So this, this nephron here will feed into it there, you know, feed into it there. You may have other, others may feed, feed into it over here. So nephron all feed into the, the duct of collection along the way. So see these here. Okay. So keep, keep, keep this in mind. We'll, 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 we'll keep on referring back to this basic structure of, of the nephron. So the way it works is this. So we call this part here of the nephron, we call the nephron tube, the, the, the tubules of the nephron. So keep that in mind then, let's do an overview of how it works. So here you have the incoming glomerulus, the incoming and outgoing there. Then you have your Bowman's capsule around it to catch whatever is coming out. And then the Bowman's capsule will send the filtrate down through the tubules. Okay. At the same time, your blood, so it comes in here through the, through the aphen arteriole, leaves through the aphen arteriole and then you know, flows through the kidney through various various capillaries. So, it's, so this is so this is your blood vessel. I probably, probably chose the wrong color, frankly, but this is blood vessel here. Okay, blood vessel. Typically, typically capillaries of the kidneys. So these blood vessels may include things such as your peri tubular capillaries and your vasorecta blood vessels. There. This again is, is your glomerulus. So the first process. Process. Process process that takes place is that your glomerulus will push things out into the Bowman's capsule. That process is called filtration. Okay. Then once the filtrate gets into your tubules, okay, almost 99% of it is pushed back into the blood. Okay, so it's reabsorbed back into the blood. Okay. 
that's process two. We call that reabsorption. But the, the blood is going to also send, send things back into the tubules. That's called secretion. And then, so you filter, you reabsorb, you secrete, and what's left behind there, at some point along the way, you also will handle or control how much water you lose. So step four is called water conservation. And then what's left behind is released from the body or sent to your kidney as urine. So you filter the blood, reabsorb most of it, send some stuff back into it, and then play with how much water is in your kidneys. Okay, so these four processes that occur. One is filtration. We're gonna, we're gonna be, we'll discuss that shortly. Filtration two is your reabsorption, which is which is moving stuff back from the filtrate back into the blood. Step three is your secretion. Moving stuff from blood back to the filtrate. And step four, we call water conservation. Okay, so just again, happy, happy, happy. So filtration is moving stuff from Glomerulus into the glomerular capsule. Step two, reabsorption is moving stuff from filtrate. Filtrate back into blood. Secretion is moving stuff from blood back into filtrate. And the water conservation is done by reabsorbing water. Reabsorbing water. So here is basically water going from filtrate to blood. That's water conservation. Okay. Again, this is filtrate. So once it comes through here, it's called filtrate. So in here is filtrate meaning things that were filtered from the glomerulus. All right, we'll pause there and then we'll come back in and walk through these things.